you know, you start with a diagram and a set of instructions, a list of materials, and basically recipes for how to create these colors. Saul is thought by most people to be the father of conceptualism and minimalism. We were going off Saul's original instructions that he laid out when the High originally commissioned the piece. The piece that you see in the atrium of the High Museum now has been installed three times. And I actually lived just down the block in the 90s. So I had actually seen the original Solowit. And when I found out that that's what we were going to be doing, I mean, I got chills. The scaffolding is the biggest scaffolding I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> it took them a week almost just to put it up. We had a great representative from the Sal Lewitt Institute, Brianne, who led us through the process. Because I'm used to either using a roller or a brush or a spray can. In this process, we use rags. The process is known as wipe, boom, wipe. So a wipe is kind of like taking the rag and making a hamburger kind of patty in your hand with it and then using the smooth side of the rag to just wipe the paint onto the wall. And then the boom is reversing that and using the rough side and actually kind of booming or bouncing off the wall. And that creates this mineral-like texture. And then when you build that up, you get these very rich, interesting colors that are, from afar, they look very solid. You get up close and you can tell it's actually made of lots of different colors. One of the most fascinating things that I experienced was the actual colors themselves. To get to an orange, you're not just rolling orange paint on the wall, you're putting several layers of yellow and then layers of red on top of that and then maybe yellow again. And the most complex color had six combinations of colors which each had four applications. So it had 24 passes, you know, 24 human touches. And when you're talking about a 70 foot tall mural, you have to climb the stairs doing 24 passes, it becomes pretty intensive. It's a masterwork by a master artist. What he was trying to do was to create an artwork that anybody could put up. I tried to really just sort of be a student. A big part of Saul's work was laying out these very specific instructions so that his work could be recreated by anybody. So I wanted to really just be a tool for him to create this art after his death. He was a genius, I think. This is an incredible piece of his legacy it shakes things up in there. And I think that's a good thing, you know, I think that kind of sends a message to the community that sometimes some disruption in the system is actually a good thing.